It's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. I think it's a, I think I know it's an alcoholic beverage. Put it some ice there. Cute name, gimmicky name. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes a little bit like, well, it tastes like root beer. It's got a little thingy to it. I don't know if I like it. Huh. Let's see what happens. So uh, I've been reading, you know, uh, assignment book, uh, where do we go from here, you know, community of chaos, whatever have you. And, um, you know, there's a lot of other stuff on the, uh, well, here's what happened. I got it at a library in St. Louis, the St. Louis library, right? And so I first got it there and I was reading it, right? But then I had to leave, so I put it back in the library. So now I got it online, a PDF, right? So I've been reading it there. I figured I'd read the rest, well, I'll read it online there. But then I'm gonna actually wait because of uh, ADO's conference, you know, we're like, uh, what are we, we're now, we're September, what, uh, what am I looking at my date up there, September 22nd, 23rd, somewhere there, 22nd, I think, 23rd. Anyway, and so for the rest of the week, I'll look at it, uh, not for the rest of the week, for some time I'll look at the PDF form, and then right about the 30th, like next week, before I go up to the conference, I'll buy the book and finish reading it in the book form. Some, somehow it'll work out like that, I'll buy the book. I go to Strand Bookshop in New York. They're like a dollar less than, than you know, than Barnes & Noble, wherever the big shops are, or get it online from Amazon. Um, so, but I was looking through the, uh, of course, uh, the internet has, has stuff on there, you know, some people are getting it and they'll see what happens, you know, uh, Tariq had a very interesting thing, you know, about uh, uh, black boogeymen and stuff like that, very, all it, I mean, everybody's cooking, this is really interesting, it's percolating, so let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks, I think that ADOS is really going to hit, hit big, people are going to start, people are understanding, I see a whole lot of other stuff that people are understanding. Uh, <laughs> we won't even get into the politicians, but we'll see what happens with that. But there was one thing in reading the book that I came across. I wrote it down where I wrote I got on page 68, um, you know, um, Martin Luther King gives this uh, quote, um, uh, end of the book from um, uh, Fanon, from, you know, Richard the Earth, you know, and I think he missed the focus, you know, because he's so into his nonviolent thing, he missed the focus of the, of the quote. And then because I was looking at something else on the internet with this guy that really hit me because I'm working on this piece and this, uh, this reparations piece that's going to come up in November for, as an audio drama. But, uh, you know, most of the times people are just reporting what's happening there. They're, 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 they're reporting what they see or they're reporting, they're, they're commenting on something like that. But, you know, but to, to actually put something in place that shows you that they're that, that shows you what's next, <laughs> you know, community chaos, what's next, you know, that's the challenge. Well, well as, as an artist, that's, that's the challenge, right? So, um, and so, 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 so focus of this play at the end of this audio drama, we have to have, look at this new world. Okay, but for non, at the end of his, Richard Effie, he was saying, like, if you have a new model, and the model is just based on the, the colonial model, the former colonial model, or whatever, the, you know, you're still carving up, you know, still carving up Africa, you're still doing, whatever it is, then you, you basically fail. You've got to come up with a new thing. You see, and and that, and that's always been my whole thing. As, as an artist, that's always been um, been my whole thing. What's the what what? I, I hear what you're saying, but that's nice. Now, what the solution? The solution that what is your solution? Not based on what is your solution? Okay, because obviously, if it's your solution, it is based on your reality, what you've been through. You see, what I'm saying, which means if you've been through chattel slavery, that means your solution, your your solution. I'm talking about linearly, lineagely, lineage lineage wise. Then that's going to be, you know, if you, if you went to this Ivy League school, or if you went to this, if you if, if you spent time in, 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 you know, on the streets, you're going to have a different solution. Like 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 a Corey Hogan is going to have a different, you know, solution than 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 than, um, than an Antonio Brown, than than a Vic Cornell, than than a Sandy Darity. They're going to they're going to have different solutions because they come from different places. You see, like that. So I'm always looking for the solution. What's next? And what, what upsets me, like most say, say about Africa, when you still have the the judges and. Um, the judges in South Africa or Kenya still wearing that, that wig, you, you know what I mean? Don't make no sense, you know? Those, those kind of things. Anyway, uh, so anyway, so so I think that, that Martin Luther King, because he was so focused on nonviolence, he was making his comparison now and using that quote for the nonviolence thing, he's, he missed the whole 
um, thing that Franz Fanon was saying, you know, and w which is basically what is your what is your what is your lack of a better word your new world order, and because all this other stuff like um, I'm sorry one other thing on the internet that I saw is like uh, Bill Gates you know the, the, he's talking about now seeding you know chemtrails talking about seeding the clouds so they can the, no well, these rich people they come up with all kinds of schemes because they think they can they can do it you know if you get a Bezos whatever they go they, you know they, they come up with all kinds of schemes right well look we got to stop listening to white people because none of their schemes have worked in the past for anybody forget us forget ados they haven't worked for anybody so what i'm saying is that you know we gotta completely just stop listening to white people i don't care if they got money and whatever have you because what's happening to be they're, they're, we're so hooked up with celebrity in other words if you're a white person with money all of a sudden you're a celebrity you know what i mean um um was it who was it um I think Tariq was 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 talking about like like up there in um in Illinois, in Detroit, and then Illinois. There's this whole thing they 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 got with the, with the with the judges and and the, and the governor of the state or whatever have you. They're hooked up, all hooked up with the with the LGBT thing, the LGBT thing, and 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 they and they they're now setting policy. You know, what I mean, their policy is reflecting their background. You see, so that's the point. So why are we listening to people? Why do we even listen to these things? When I say listen to I'm talking when you create your new thing. It's you, you, yes, you can see what, you, what you're taking into account is the failures of those old things, those things that continue the downtroddenness. See, I come from ADOS. From, from, I mean, for me, ADOS is a political movement. You know, see, um, uh, uh, Zoe Williams asked this question, you know, what's your nationality? Well, my nationality, if we look at any passport, I should get my passport right now, any passport, it says clearly United States of America. Your nationality, United States of America. So when they ask you, with, when they say, uh, give me your American passport, they're talking about your, the, the nationality says United States of America. Born, it says, mine says New York City. <laughs> well, it says, uh, um, it says New York, USA, you know? So the point is, my nationality is American. Okay. <laughs> now, my political leanings at this particular point is ADOS, right? My 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 sensibilities might be you know my sensibilities might might be a, a, a hotep. I'm a hotep brother. You know what I mean? I do a little history, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Uh, because I live in Africa, I might be doing a little kitty club. You know, uh, you, you see what I'm saying? I'm all those things, but ah, you get it anyway. So I just want to 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 blow at you for that because uh, I'm. I'm drinking some alcoholic lace root beer from the South. Huh. That's not really that good. So just, just, just bear that in mind. A message from me, T, from the Pattersons, take the train to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect from a reality. A desk. That's my desk thing. A, a desk. Of the A-D-O-S. I'm not really official. I mean, it's just a desk. It's not the desk. You see what I mean? You understand what I'm saying.